Hey viewers, what's going on? Welcome back to Casual Gaming. This is the Chilean Retro Gamer. And the game I'm going to be playing now is A Gypsy's Tale, The Tower of Secrets on the PC, also available on GameAnyone.com. Uh, as you are well aware, I guess, by now, I'm going to be doing most of my projects on the different YouTube channels I made depending on the console or system I'm going to be working on. Uh, this casual game is a PC game, of course. I have a, a channel for PC games. But from time to time, I could be working on either PC games or short videos with commentary on classic games or ROM hacks on the main channel in order to keep all the channels active somehow. So uh, some breaks will be for the exclusive channel depending on the system or some others will be exclusive for Game Anyone uh, or the Naked Gaming Group or the main channel as well will be included as part of this uh, you know where these projects can be watched in order to keep all of the channels active as, as I said before um, I downloaded this for free I have the possibility of downloading one casual game for free every day but the problem is that from time to time like in between levels so to speak uh, you have to see ads, uh, advertisements. In those cases, of course, I'm going to be pausing the recording for you not to be de for you not to be dealing, sorry, with those uh, advertisements, since they they are like 20 seconds uh, long, more or less. So uh, it's not going to be annoying for you. Trust me. I, I I'll do my best for editing things out in that sense. Without further delay, let's begin. I'm reeling of Winderalf. People call me a gypsy and they're right. Of my heritage, I'm proud. Unlike my kin, I have a sense for magic of both good and wicked nature. A monk has hired me to locate a long lost tower and rescue a girl within it. A mysterious maze surrounds the tower, and none who have entered have ever returned. I should be afraid, but I'm not. Breaking wicked curses is my trade. I have traveled for a month, and tonight I have found the tower. According to the monk, a specter guards this place. If I'm lucky, I will not encounter the full spirits. In before, this person will fucking find it. You awake in a clearing. It appears that the ghost did not kill you as it had intended. So this uh, spirit actually appeared, but I'm still alive, or the character is still alive. Um, let's take a look. I can use hints in order to find certain objects. This is more like an adventure game, but of course combines uh, lots of hidden object uh, mini games. I played around 20 minutes of this, so I'm gonna be making lots of progress in the first the first uh, one or two parts uh, of course everything you see something like shining you can get uh, different tasks um, you must find the tower of secrets and break the curse upon it before the ghost returns at dusk your things are scattered in the clearing gather them your mop a crystal bag which is right here on the ground the monk's note appears to be hidden in the grass uh, not really. It's actually very easy to get the hand of this game. Let's see the sparkling thing with the... Uh, when it highlights. Go to the Tower of Secrets and rescue my friend who is trapped there. My friend is powerful and she shall reward you well. Avoid the tower at midnight as a full spirit guard says. Be wary of the Eldritch Maze. Do not fall into its traps, the monk. I got the first objective. The note from the monk, I still have to find the map and the crystal bug. That's the crystal bug, and this should be the map. The door looks like uh, it leads to the maze. Unfortunately, it is covered in vines. So, of course, you have to use the shears in order to, you know, uh, get rid of the. the 
the bushes, the vines. But for you to pick out the shears, you have to find other objects which are required in here. All of them on site, obviously. Place it here. Looks well. That's a rake. This should be like a sort of axe, and this one is a sight, I believe. But there you go. I got the shears, and now I have to use them in here. Something else is shining right here. It's a bird. And in order to get this uh, thing from the door, I have to find all of these birds. Started with this one. Then this one. All of them look very easy to find. Also, you have to get these little crystals. As you can see, there are 13 tasks in the entire place. Uh, you have to, you know, come back and, and do some uh, revisiting. And you can get up to two crystals. This is one of them. Little shiny things that uh, been redundant shine from time to time. Uh, let's see the other birds. One more to go. Um, I don't really see it around. Are you the one? No. Here it is. So I got a medallion. The door is locked. And as you can see up here, there is a key. But it's too high to reach. So in that case, well, you can move to the next screen for you to find out what to do. As you could see, every time I, I pass a level, I change the, the location, and there is an ad. That's why I, I had to, to edit it out. What is this? A cane. The cane floats out of reach. Really? It's not that high. But that's the next task. I have to get the floating cane. I see another crystal here. Need to get five in this area. So one more. Uh, two more to go. They could be shining randomly in case you get stuck. You, of course, you can use a hint for you to reveal either the next task or one of the objects you need uh, for completing a certain task. That's an advantage. Um, there's another little crystal shining. It's something else shining, but it takes me back. Um, let's take a look. Something else is shining here. A medallion is missing from the pedestal. And that's the medallion you got from the door before. So now you can get the cane. But before that, you have to gather these four symbols. So as you can see, it combines adventure plus uh, hidden object. the other symbol one next to the to the tree it's kind of tricky it's not hard to find and there's one more to go are you the one no in these kind of situations I can actually use a hint but I found it fun use for cane and common says says that you have to get it for reaching the key. Okay, I found the remaining crystal, and every time you get all the crystals in an area, you get a mud piece. So basically, instead of moving from room to room, you can automatically move to this area from any other point from the game. That's the whole idea. That's a rug. I cannot get it yet. That's probably for a further task. And I'm pretty much done here. Well, I got the cane. And as I mentioned before, common sense says that you have to use the cane for reaching the key. And there you go. But before picking up the key, you have to get these three flowers. And that's it. Now we can use the door for opening, sorry, the key for opening this door. But before that, you have to assemble this little puzzle, which is very simple. Every time you get the piece correctly assembled, it's not going to move anymore from the position. 
So it means you got it. But in case you get stuck, like you can't wait for this bar to complete in order to skip the puzzle, you're gonna win anyway. That's the whole point of a casual game. Right? Make it very easy and, and enjoyable in that sense. And there you go. Very easy. Door got opened, and I'm going to the car yard. Something is hidden behind the vines. Of course, for that you have to use the shears to get rid of the vines. That's weird, didn't work. This one's first. There we go. And we see a door, a little mechanism. Alright, in order to get this working, I have to find four objects in here. Like a bolt, sort of baseball bat, stick, something. Looks like a handle and another key down here. Nothing is happening. But let's take a look at this shining thing or sparkling thing. The door is locked. Perhaps some uh, the stone tablet on the door has a clue. And apparently these are steps of what you are supposed to do. Assemble the puzzle apparently first, then uh, Clean the fountain, I guess, or yeah, I guess so. Uh, then uh, fill the fountain with water, and then rotate this thing. Good. I have to repair the fountain first. Okay, makes sense. And I have to find four objects in order to repair it. Looks like a hand. I oh, I got a crystal. I think yeah. I forgot about the crystals. There are three in this area. I got one already. Um, all right, let's find the other objects, and I saw the second crystal, and the third one too. Good. Uh, one more object, right? No, two more. Um, this piece, and it looks like another handle or something like that, but I already found it. it's pretty big. Wipe fountain with something. Probably with the rags I saw in the other area. Well, actually, I needn't, didn't need to do that since, well, I could have gone immediately to that other area with this, uh, with the map thing. I would like to find the other um, crystal in here, if it is possible. What if I use a hint? And there it is. See? Remaining crystal. Three maps, three locations. These are precisely the three locations I've been going through. So. Let's get this rug, and I have to find a bunch of other rugs, towels, whatever, uh, before picking up the old one. I see three more on the floor. Oops. One more to go, here on the bench. And now let's do what I'm supposed to do. Now this shit is clean. The fountain needs water. Strange. The symbols on the wall are similar to the ones on the base of the fountain. Another puzzle right here. You basically have to take a look at the wall. First of all, we are dealing with a horse, then a key, third, a ladybug, then this, I believe, this is a star. Something like that. And then a uh, one-eyed sun. There you go. The game automatically detects that you got it correctly. And you go to the gnome hideouts. In which you encounter this little gnome. And I got a crystal, which... Or two, perhaps. That I saw shining immediately. I prefer to stop this here. I really hope you are uh, having fun with this project. I'll be doing others uh, at the same time, so don't worry. And I'll see you later.